Grand Rising Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Free Speaks Guidance. This is What's Next with You and Your Boo. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I appreciate all of you. Capricorn is a general reading. Take the part that resonates with you and leave the rest behind. I will be doing an extended to this reading. If you're interested in the extended, there will be a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. Make sure you like the video to exchange energy with me. Let's hop into this and see what spirit has to say. Spirit, guides, angels, ancestors of love, health, and wealth, I welcome you here. I ask that you take me to the white light of protection as I go within the tarot. Show me clear, honest messages for Capricorn regarding love. Clear, honest messages for Capricorn regarding love. What does Capricorns need to know? Capricorn and the person they are connected to energetically. Grand Rising, Yvette, Toya, Keisha, and Lawrence. Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. Show me Capricorn's energy when it comes to this connection. Who are you running from? You're in a full sprint. You're a ghost in an individual. I feel running energy. You're running from a particular person. Capricorn, and you're a runner. You got your track shoes on. You're ignoring somebody. You're trying to get away from a particular individual. Take the roles and reverse them as need be. Somebody is running here. If it's not you, it's definitely them. Uh, somebody want to be free. Somebody wants to be free. You could be dealing with an Aries. But somebody here in this connection wants to be free. That's why they're running. If you're running, it's because you want to be free of this situation. You're not ready to commit. You done got entirely too comfortable being single. Show me their energy when it comes to this connection with Capricorn. Sacrifice. Okay, so which one are you? As I stated, take the roles and reverse them as need be because somebody in the relationships want to commit a relationship and the other person does not. Yep. Somebody is traditional. Somebody wants marry. Somebody's wanting long term. Somebody is wanting to settle down in this connection with you and this particular person. And the other person wants to be free. The other person is not tied yet. They still want to be in the streets. So the purpose of the reading today is you and your person are not vibrating on the same accord. You and the, your, one of you guys want a commitment out of this relationship and the other person still wants to be single and still want to do what they want to do. One of you guys want marriage. Sacrifice. This is marriage. Commitment. Let's get married. Let's jump the broom. I'm old school. I still have old school values. I don't want to date somebody all of my life. I want to be in a committed relationship. While the other, and every time you say marriage, I'll just say it's you just want marriage if it's your reading. Every time you say marriage, they ghost. They run. They do something to sabotage this relationship with you. So I do see them sabotaging this relationship because it looks like they're not ready to, you, they ain't ready to give you what you're seeking. Show me Capricorn's energy. Show me Capricorn's energy when it comes to this connection. What's going on with Capricorn? We got the hermit, Virgo energy. Someone's dealing with a Virgo. You're not talking because they won't give you what you want. You're making a decision to not talk because they're not giving you what you want. Virgo energy, queen of swords. You're trying to be strategic when it comes to this connection. What you're trying to do, you're trying to make a head over heart decision. And you're in an energy where you feel like you're playing chess, not checkers with this particular person. I do feel like you're tired of playing games with this individual. I do feel like this is somebody you want more from and they're not giving you that. So now you're being strategic when it comes to this particular person is what I see. By being strategic, you've cut this particular person off. You made a decision to not talk to this particular person. You feel like by doing this, this person is either going to give you what you want or else they're going to leave you alone. The challenge about your strategy that you have going on right now, Capricorn, with this six of cups here, whoo, they're coming back. If there's no communication, they're coming back around. Somebody's coming back around with a love offer. If you've been trying to pursue this particular person and they have not been entertaining it, the Six of Cups is somebody that's thinking about the memories that you guys made in the past 
and coming back around to you. Your plan may be working. That light at the end of the tunnel here, your plan may be working. I do see a light at the end of the tunnel for the two of you. It's what I see with this particular connection. The way you currently view this particular person that you're dealing with, you feel like this is somebody that has secrets. Whoever this person is, see, this is what I'm not understanding. Because I see a Capricorn here wanting a committed relationship from somebody they don't trust. Because you feel like this person, see this, the magician and the high priest, you feel like this person is hiding things from you. You do not trust this particular individual. We got Gemini, we got Pisces energy here too. Even though you don't trust this particular person, you still want this person in a committed relationship. Some of you guys feel like this person is dealing with somebody that they've dealt with in the past since you stopped dealing with them. It's what I see when it comes to this particular energy. Judgment. I don't give a damn what you feel. You still want this person with this judgment card coming out. If you don't, click off the reading there. Okay, I'm waiting. I'll wait so I can talk to the people that I'm that reading is for. Because if you don't want them, just go head on and go to the left. Because <laughs> Right. Whatever exit, whatever your side is, exit. Go on and take that side. Because don't get in those comments talking about, I don't want them. Because yes, you do. You want them. The thing about it, they're not giving you what you want, but you want this person. What I see here is it's a person you don't trust. It's a person you feel like is keeping secrets from you. You think about the good times with this particular person, and that's what you're seeing. You, you still remember the good times, and you want it to get back to the way it used to be with this particular person, but you do not trust whoever this is. The way you feel about being in a relationship, when it comes to this particular person, you want this person to bring this to a peaceful state. Let's get out of this turbulence. Let's stop going back and forth. Let's just go ahead and ride off in the sunset together. Come pick me up in the Uber boat. You belong to me. I belong to you. This is what you want from this particular energy. When it's all said and done, low key, up under everything you doing shit to get this attention get attention is what i see aries energy you're doing things to get attention out of this person so even if you're that capricorn who has went silent even if you're that capricorn who's playing like you're not entertaining them anymore even if you're that capricorn who's playing like you don't want this particular person you're only doing that to get attention out of this person you feel like by doing that that'll make the person want you so in your mind, you're trying to play mind games. You're like, well, if I act like I don't want them, then they'll want me. It's what I see. You're trying to flip the script. You're trying to play mind games. You're trying to manipulate this situation so that it works out in your favor. Aries energy. Actions I see you taking when it comes to this particular connection. Temperance, you're not gone. You're not gone anywhere. You're not gone. You're not gone. You're going to patiently wait. You may date. You may date, but you're dating and waiting at the same time. Tell that lie to somebody else. I'm done. If you was done, you would have clicked off the reading when I said it. If you just came in, let me reset. it. If you're not waiting on somebody to give you a committed relationship and you plan like you don't care no more, then leave. Because this particular Capricorn is waiting on somebody to commit to them preferably marriage with this sacrifice card you waiting on this person to risk it all and marry you you got old school ways you feel like you're supposed to be married one day and that's where your mind is set at that's your mind ain't coming off of that you're not modern you don't feel like you're not on the open Stedman type shit two people that ain't never been married and then been together forever you ain't on that mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you got old school ways you feel like it's mandatory to be married and because you feel that way and they're not giving you that you feel like if you flip the script and act like you don't want that that's what they're going to do if that ain't you have a great day Let's hop into this and see, pull their energy. Messages for a Capricorn. If the reading resonates with you, 
please don't a, donate a dollar to the channel to show support to the channel show that the readings resonate with you and the read the donations do go toward future supplies for the channel too show me this person's energy show me their energy when it comes to capricorn what's going on in this person's energy we got the world here in the page of pentacles so whoever this particular person is see that now you finna really have a problem whoever this particular person is they're not gone anywhere but they want to start over from the beginning this is somebody who wants to start from the beginning so this is friends with benefits type energy with this world energy here and you not talking to this particular person they want to erase the past and start over from the beginning and it's kind of hard to do that it's kind of hard to start thank you tamika sweetheart for the two dollar super chat i appreciate you may your finances continue to be blessed and the reading continue to resonate with you this is the thing about this it's kind of hard to do this when you have a history with an individual and that's what the energy they're sitting in so they're sitting in this energy of let's erase everything that happened in the past and let's start brand new as a friendship this is somebody coming in as a friendship and wants to start new with you you ain't on that type of time you got a history with this particular person damn a friendship you want a spouse the challenge for this for you and this particular individual what is the challenge with this person what is their challenge when it comes to capricorn what is their issue friendship this is a friendship this is an apology this is a page there's no reason this person should be coming through as a page if you have a history with this particular person if this is somebody you've been dealing with for a while they should not be coming through as a page this particular person the challenge is you're not accepting this friendship they're not they're offering to you so that's a problem for them thank you dtl for the 199 super chat donation i appreciate you may your finances continue to be blessed and the reading continue to resonate with you so because you will not forgive them for whatever they've done in the past because you will not let go of the past whatever the hell happened because you won't let that go and accept their apology and move forward that's where their issues is coming at that's why they're running that's why they're wanting to be free so it's a capricorn here that even when this person comes back around you're bringing up the past there's something about the past you're revisiting and because you will not let that go and start fresh this particular person is pulling away how does this person view capricorn how does this person view capricorn how does this person view capricorn the empress as their person as their spouse so this is somebody that doesn't feel like a title has to be put on this this is somebody that feels like you guys are already married they feel like you guys have so much history together that you guys are already married this person already feels this level of entitlement when it comes to this relationship is what i see here and you're pressing them for a title and they feel like a title is not wanted what's understood does not need to be exposed is what i see with this particular energy thank you mind strong for the 199 super chat donation sweetheart may your finances continue to be blessed and the reading continue to resonate with you so what i see here is this is somebody that feels like you guys are already together you guys spend most of your time together you guys have a history together so why do we need to get married why do we need to put a title on this why do you gotta go with what the world says we need to do that's their energy Woo. how does their heart feel about being in an exclusive committed relationship with capricorn how does their heart feel ten of pentacles capricorn. <laughs> they feel like you guys are already doing that this ten of pentacles is about history they feel like this is what you're doing they feel like you're already building towards something so whoever this particular person is they feel like you guys are already building towards something you need to let the past go and let's work on building a future it's what i see with this person so this is definitely an individual that feels like if you would erase everything that happened in the past and start right now that you guys can actually start building toward a future so they want a, a fresh start this is somebody wanting a clean slate actions i see this person taking in the upcoming week when it comes to this connection we got the seven of cups here and we got the knight of swords this knight of swords is about communication this knight of swords is about communication but the problem with this communication because there's not a tiger here and it's this energy of freedom and you're ignoring them they're going to be talking to other people they're going to be talking to multiple people seven king of swords but it's just going to be in and out 
So in seven of cups, and they may even be on some type of dating site, maybe on social media talking to other people. But because you're making a decision to ignore this particular person, because you feel like ignoring this particular person is going to make this person do what you want them to do, ignoring this person is going to make this person start talking to other people on you. That's what I see. Because they're single. Because they're single and y'all not talking. Because they're single and no communication is going on. And you're making sure they know they're single because you're ignoring them. You're avoiding them is what I see. And you're letting them know. You're making it known that you don't want to talk. And what you're making it known, and they know it's not over. I'm not going to say they think it's over because they know it's not over. But this upcoming week, they're going to put themselves out there. And they will be talking to somebody else. And as I say, they may be on some type of dating site talking to other people or else on social media. Knight of Swords and the Seven of Cups that's communicating with other options. Whew, that was deep. Let's go to the extended to see how this is going to play out in the future between the two of you. What I see with your reading today, Capricorn, there's an individual who you're trying to manifest something more serious out of. The way you're going about it, you're trying to be strategic. You're trying to pretty much force this person's hand. You feel like by not talking to this particular person, by cutting them off, they'll realize the value that you bring in their life and that'll make them come in and do what you want to do. Unfortunately, your plan is going in the other direction. This particular person feels like it's purposeless to put a title on something when the two of you guys already know what you have. This person feels like the title is for the world. That if you guys know what it is, why do, why do you need to try to solidify something for the world? It's their energy. Because of the fact that you will be avoiding this person and not talking to this person, it's going to put this person in the energy to where they'll start talking to other people. They won't, they know that it's not over. So please don't think, well, they think it's all the way over. They don't think that. They're just talking to other people because you're making a decision not to talk to them. So let's hop into this and see how it's going to play out. If you're interested in the extended, the link is in the description box below to purchase the extended. Is this person in love with Capricorn or is this lust? What is their intentions for building a true future with Capricorn? What's blocking it from being a successful relationship? Do they genuinely miss Capricorn if there is no communication? Do they regret how they've been treating Capricorn? Will they apologize and it be sincere? Can Capricorn trust this person if they're currently dealing with them now? Does this person stalk Capricorn? Is there a third party? If so, what's going on with the third party right now? Are they in love with the third party? Is the third party in love with them? How will this connection unfold? Is this person having sex with other people? If so, how will that connection unfold? Is this Capricorn soulmate or karmic lesson? Will they reach out if there is no communication in the next 30 days? Should Capricorn reach out to them? And will this person ever, 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 ever give Capricorn the exclusive marriage, the title the Capricorn is seeking from this connection? Capricorn, if you're interested in how this will unfold, there is a link in the description box below to purchase the extended. If this is where we depart, Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I am sending love and light your way. Enjoy the remainder of your day, Capricorns. Namaste.